Alrighty. Well, uh, seems the fake news is all running like hell with this caravan business. I've since come across a bit of information. Um, <laughs> ah, your poor migrant caravan who uh, was pummeling rocks at Mexican police officers and Mexican soldiers and basically are illegal immigrants in Mexico because they entered illegally uh, that are coming up towards the United States. They showed photo, you know, videos of them all and everything like that. And now a particular news source, well known but also highly disliked news sources, oh, it's a ghost caravan, it doesn't exist. Blah, blah, blah. Radio. Okay. So where did the footage come from then? <laughs> Talk about... <sighs> Hope you have a short memory. Mm. <clears throat> well, some of you may know who Amy Horowitz is. It's a guy. Uh, and he's gone down there and had a little look about and uh, found a uh, caravan that's not women and children for the most part, it's 90 to 95 percent men, that is not organically created at all. In fact, <laughs> they're getting police escort by the Mexican police, and you can see the Mexican police cars there escorting them on their way, and uh, you know, well, they're mainly just sitting on the back of trucks, some with whole seating arrangements set up on them. Um, <laughs> it's also funny how there's pickup trucks full of water, and I mean like, you know your office water cooler big bottles? Yeah, pickup truck with a bunch of those on the back. And it's organically created. Mm, that's funny, because you've got all these people in black t-shirts with high-vis vests, some of who have the front of the vest open, and a logo on the front that happens to be a logo of an organization that is set up in the United States. Um, <laughs> people without borders. They're a group who believes that no borders should exist around the world. You know, a leftist group that believes that no country should have any borders. And here they are with the shirts on, with a logo right on the front of them, with the high-vis vests on, hand out all the stuff, you know, helping all the migrants, all the caravan migrants, illegal immigrants, maybe I should say, and um, <laughs> all in plain view, all full videoed, along with the Mexican cop cars that are escorting the whole caravan. And, you know, meanwhile, over on the fake stream media, it's a ghost caravan that doesn't exist. It's mainly women. It's organic, it's not organised by anyone. Blah, 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 blah. Interestingly enough, it turns out there's uh, a young lass probably in her late 20s, who lives in Tijuana, who has actually said yes, they are in Tijuana right now. Uh, we talked to them. They are in a uh, house that is on Airbnb that rents for $230 a night and some more in a hotel. And at the moment, they're out there getting drunk, waiting for what's going to come tomorrow, which will probably be a uh, bit of a shitstorm. Apparently they're already jumping over the fence and playing around trying to annoy the border guards and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, at the moment it's night and they're getting drunk, waiting for uh, what's going to come. So it's interesting how... So much stuff is just sort of under the rug, you know. So much of them. And you think, ooh, is it a conspiracy? Why are we not hearing any of this stuff? I don't know if it's a conspiracy so much as it is something a lot like the military-industrial complex, 
Well, you just have certain groups of people who find that they all fit into a situation very conveniently that all suits them. Well, if we go to war, we're going to make money, so what we do, we arc up and support the people who want to go to war, and we're going to make money out of it all, and boom, 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 and, you know, it'll suit the hot-headed military generals, it'll suit the munitions makers, and all we've got to do is just get it through and get the war started. Similar sort of mentality. Except what it is, it's been something that I've seen in this country where it's like a slow creeping overtake. Um, in one case, we have... <coughs> think what you want about this, it's more or less our PBS, but <laughs> it's just really solely funded by the government. We have a government-ran TV station. You say, oh, it's going to be full of propaganda. Well, they actually put a referendum out. Should we close it or should we keep it open? And everyone said, you know what? Keep it open. Surprisingly, in previous years, it's been a great beacon of independent information that's not really smothered over. In fact, they even had a show called Media Watch. And if there was any lies by the media, twisting of words, any crap crapola, even media plagiarising other media, particularly, you know, newspaper writers, article writers who, you know, couldn't be bothered that week and would just copy someone else. They used to cover it. Any shenanigans in the media, any deliberate misreporting, any twisting of the words, changing of the terms to, to mean something different, they would report on it. That come from the government-owned TV station and government funded one. Well, over the years, it's turned a bit different. It's sort of, over time, it's been hijacked by leftists, and now it's just social justice warrior crapola, some of which has appeared on YouTube. Um, <laughs> you know, there's one particular girl who, you know, a lot of these are programs made for kids, targeted ad, you know, five-year-olds and stuff like that and one particular girl comes to mind because uh, she's got a very badly placed nose ring and uh, once you've seen her face once you'll probably recognize it again and I've seen her in a few different things um, all involving this social justice warrior agenda now I wouldn't be terribly surprised if over the years Slowly but surely, um, you know, some people say, oh, George Soros, oh, well, you know, it's corporate media and they're all in cahoots with politicians, conspiracy, conspiracy, and you may well be right. It may well be a case that, you know, they're in together and they like to cover each other's ass because it's no secret that some of these questions that Hillary Clinton would receive in interviews were sent through three days before to check if they were all right, to check if she wanted to add some, to check if she wanted to reword it, and to check if she wanted to take some out before she would face this talk show host or media personality or whatever for this little interview, which was so unbelievably highly structured beforehand, it was ridiculous. You know, Trump would just get whatever the hell they want to throw him at the minute. And, uh, you know, she had the <laughs> red carpet rolled out. And so you could say that, yeah, some of it's conspiracy, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of it is also just this slow creeping change of just leftists working their way into certain positions like human resources, like some of the management um, of media organisations, and then just making sure that everyone they hire goes along with their political opinion. And it's just sort of a slow creeping thing that you may not realise until it's too late, as was the case with the ABC here in Australia, funded and essentially owned by the government. 
Um, you know, but there may well be elements more so that it is actually deliberately, intentionally set up that way. But I tell you what, you know, if it wasn't for the internet, you'd never know half of the bloody real stories in existence. And the dirty little secret is, the sad truth is, that 90% of people, particularly the older generation, just sit down, watch TV, and don't know any different. Why? Because they've always watched TV all their life. That's what they just take it all as 100% truth. And it mightn't be 90% of all people, but it's only really us younger generation in their 30s and their 20s who can actually go digging around to find out if there's more to the story. And aside from that, <laughs> you got millions of people that are like sheep to the slaughter, just led straight in and believe whatever comes up on their screen as the God-honest truth and... You know, <laughs> people like me and others who find out that there's so much more that is just under the blooming rug like it never existed.